Happy New Year, everyone. <laughs> it's the Fiber Floozy. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jill, also known as Blossom. And it is 2020. Guess what? We're in a new spot. I'm not sure if I have filmed from this direction. I might have done a couple shots in a video I did showing you when we were having a bonfire. If you go back a little bit. But it was at night. Most of it was at night. And so it was really kind of a short one. But anyway, I thought this would be nice to come down here. It's such a pretty day. I am in West Texas, halfway between Wichita Falls and Abilene. And we're in a part that's called Central West Texas. So if that helps you place me at all. And uh, there's, it's very small, very small, very, very small. So there's going to be some noises around me, like the dogs have been down here with me. Um, I have two dogs, Duke, who is a Great Pyrenees mix with, uh, I don't know, we think he's kind of like a, oh, Husky maybe, and then Aridin is our older dog, and she is Great Pyrenees and Golden Lab, so they call that a Golden Pyrenees. It's actually a known um, breed, and it's very, actually a very sought-after combo. There she goes. Hey, Aridin, what are you doing? She is more than 14 years old. I've kind of lost count. She is such a sweetheart. She's liver spotted. And she has dreads almost all year long. But she's outside. And she really, it's just the way they are. Um, the mix of the fur kind of has like a, like it just gets matted up. and. Eventually, as her new fur comes in, a lot of it falls off, or we try to trim it, and we trim her in the summertime to get most of the dreads off so that she's cooler. So, I don't know where Duke went. He is all white, so if you see him, and you might, depending on the time of day and what's going on with them, we also have cows and horses. But whether they'll show up down here or not, I don't know. I've not actually been down here when they've just sort of walked through. So I don't know what time of day that they come down to visit. I have my Gatorade. That was hubby on the walkie-talkie. So let me pause this. Yeah, so... <laughs> walkie-talkies because I am probably I don't know maybe 600 yards from the house I don't know where I'm at let me explain to you where my little spot is if you can see this right here that's the ramp coming up here and hubby built a deck up next to the well house. Now this is not finished and so I may not show you any of this um, but he built it up between the trees. See how that's up here on the deck? So this is such a nice place to come down. When we take our walks around the property we walk around and then we come back down in and we come and sit right here and cool off a little bit. And uh, the 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 spring is right behind the well house. So the dogs go down there and they jump in the spring and get wet. And then, uh, <laughs> and then we have chocolate dip dogs. <laughs> if y'all know what a chocolate dip dog is, you probably live in the country. <laughs> so what have you guys been doing this week? I tell you, I took a little break. I uh, 
as you know, I haven't filmed for a while. I put up a film, but right before Christmas. And so I have some things filmed that will probably go on another video. Uh, and probably put just put some stuff together and, and put some more videos out like throughout the week. So I didn't bring... I didn't want to haul all my stuff down here so I can show it to you. So I have more things to show you and more things to talk about. So this really was just so I could come down here and sit and spend a little time outside with you guys. Is this nice? I should do this more often. This is great. So with our weather, I mean, it's January and all I have is this little sweater and I'm wearing my little necklace that Aunt Betty made. Y'all know this yarn? Here, let me show you. I think I showed these before, but this is that ladder yarn. And she put it together with uh, some sort of a thread where she wrapped it around at the top and probably tucked her ends in. And I don't know if she tied it or what she did. I've never asked her. But her and Aunt Sue were making a bunch of these. And this one's got like the greens and the purples and the golds. I have two of these. The other one has got, and I like this one, of course, because it's got my teal in it. But these are just great to wear as a little bit of something crafty and it's not hot. So I knew it would be warm down here and I may wind up having to take this sweater off before it's all done. It's about it's almost four o'clock on Saturday. I don't know what day. January 4th. And there's a bee flying around. Right now he is on the camera. You're welcome. So, mainly, okay. Y'all saw the cowl that I did for Carrie, my daughter Carrie. And so I had kind of stopped everything to finish that for her for Christmas. And Chelsea's I did not, who is my other daughter. Ooh. I did not get her deal done. I'm still working on it. I decided it was not going to be a Christmas thing. So now I'm working on this baby blanket because I am finally finished the center part of the white. So now I'm doing the reverse. So I've started the green. Yeah. And this is in that baby yarn that Aunt Betty gave me. And I'm going to tell you all something. I'm not crazy about this baby, this yarn. It has this um, strand that runs around it, this like silk stuff, silky strand. See where that runs around it? And it gets, my hook gets caught on it. There's Aridin again. Chocolate dip dog. She put her feet in. <laughs> Did you get the water, girl? Oh. And it's still green down here because this is under all the trees. Now, the only things that are still got any kind of foliage on them are the evergreens. Everything else is gone, but it's down lower too. And we had rain like 
a quarter to a half an inch a week or so ago, and we've had those about every two to three weeks, which has kept the winter rye growing. And that has been absolutely wonderful because uh, our animals, our, our horses and cows have got something to eat. We're still waiting on the last calf. Our chocolate cow, I still think that she is pregnant, but she has not delivered and she's still just as big as a house. So I don't know. We'll wait and see. But if she does, she'll be the last of that batch from that bowl. So I wanted to tell you, I did get some cards. Show these with y'all. These are so cool. Okay, this one is from this one is from Norway. And honestly, I have a hard time pronouncing her name. But she sent me this pretty little card with the snowman. And I wanted to show y'all, I don't want to show that, but look at this stamp. Aren't those fun? I am not blooming. He thinks I am. And I just, I'm sorry I can't remember how to say your name, but she is one of the ladies from our Friday night, midnight. Is that right? Or is this the one from Jocelyn? This one's from Jocelyn. But I wanted you guys to see that stamp. Oh, I know what it is. Silly me. This thing is so light. It's so... It, there's really... It's really very 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 thin and light but then when I opened it and I think she may say her name Yvonne and I don't know for sure but I think she may have drawn this goat yul isn't that beautiful and then she had it uh developed into pictures to send to everybody as a card. I'll have to find out because Friday night, knit night on Facebook, Louise has pneumonia. Louise, I hope you feel better. And so I really did not get to ask anybody anything because we weren't on for very long. This one is from Jocelyn. And she is in Winnipeg. And Jocelyn, I think, is part of the Northern Knits podcast. Who knows? I can't always remember it all. This is from Louise. I got your card, Louise. <laughs> Thanks for joining me live on Friday nights. It has been great getting to know you and see your projects and inspiring me to do more crochet. <laughs> See you on Friday nights, Louise. <laughs> Gosh, I hope you feel better, Louise. Okay. I'm gonna move some stuff. And Susanna, I got your card with some puppies. And she is part of the Friday Night Knit Night. And she, y'all, she's been in some of my lives. Um, wishing you the very best of the holiday season and some more babies. <laughs> this one is from Dawn and Judy. They are, Mr. it's Mr. Dawn. 
and he was um, the next door neighbor to my daughter in before she moved. There's Duke. Hey, Duke. Where you at, boy? He went that way. Y'all haven't seen him yet. Anyway, um, Mr. Dawn went and filled in for me at school for my grandson, and he, and he was he went on Grandparents' Day and filled in for me. So Mr. Dawn's part of the family. They are they are very very sweet people. So I try to go by and see them whenever I am in New Orleans. And I got this one, which came with cranberry, pomegranate, herbal tea. And this is from Stash. And I'm really thinking about going online and ordering some Stash tea because these are so good. And it is from Cheryl. And she is in Ontario. So she is part of the Friday night knit night. He's being quiet. See if you can hear Dookie's in the water. Here is one you guys are going to know. Here comes Santa Paws. Yes, it's Cheryl. Cheryl, it is so sweet of you to include me in your Christmas list. I really appreciate it. <laughs> and she says, Merry Christmas Blossom. <laughs> very, very sweet. Especially with everything she's been through. To do what she did this year with Christmas. There's Duke. He's coming around, y'all. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Maybe. There he is. Oh. And there he goes. <laughs> The brown feet. <laughs> this is from Donna Mako. We all know Donna. Thank you so much, Donna. This was her thank you card because she won um, my giveaway. So that was the thank you card. And then she also sent this card. I was like, why'd she send two? And this was the Christmas card. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. You are so sweet. Okay, and then I went by the mailbox today, and I got these two. This one is from Kitchener, Ontario. That one has a Santa stamp, and it is from Jessica, and she is part of the Fiber Friends card swap. So thank you, Jessica. Very much appreciate that. Do y'all see what it was? He's a lumberjack. <laughs> Look, Granny D, it's a squirrel from Canada. This one is from the Fiber Hearts. I sent them a card and uh, it came back. Y'all didn't know that. Karen and Brian, your card came back. So I checked it and I had the right address. Everything was okay. So I gave it back to the mailman, put a fresh stamp on it and said, send it back. We'll try again. And I guess they must have gotten it because they sent me one 
and it's a Thomas Kincaid. Isn't that gorgeous? And I told them one of these days when I get back to California, because you know, y'all, I'm from California. I said, when I get back to California, I'm going to come see them. And she, they said, come on by. <laughs> Anytime. We'll crochet and laugh and have a great time. <laughs> so, thank you, Brian and Karen. And I sent a package to Jan Carruthers, and I had so much fun watching her open that. She has been in a funk lately. And, uh... <laughs> So y'all go check out Jan Carruthers because I sent her a package and it was so much fun watching her open everything. And I had made her some flowers for her deck and I really enjoy giving y'all. I really do. You know, that's, it's one of the things that makes you feel really, really good is giving to other people, isn't it? Okay, y'all hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, so what am I working on right this minute? Oh, I did, um, I did bring this one. I started last night. This is going to be really fast. This is the latest one from Crystal at Bag o Day. The latest cowl. And here's my yarn. Now she did hers in the spun colors. Premier spun colors that she just got. But mine is Wisdom Yarn. Poem Silk. This is by Universal Yarns. It's called Baffin Island. And this one is 75% wool and 25% silk. Silk. It is 50 grams, 100 meters, 1.75 ounces per 50 grams. It's a number four, size eight knitting needles, and a size nine hook, 5.5 millimeter hook, and a five millimeter knitting needle. And of course, that's what I'm using. Actually, this one is a J, it's a six millimeter. And this is, this is a fun stitch. I'm really enjoying this one. You go in, oh, you go into that, you make your stitch, and you have this post. And you go into that post, and you go around it three times, going through two loops to where you have four on. Go around again, then you come back over here to that chain spot and go in, go through two, and then go through all of them to make the cluster, and then chain three. And that's pretty much the whole thing. There's there's a couple little things you have to do. Your setup row, and then some things that she shows you on the on these sides. But I'm loving how it's making the yarn look. She picked a great stitch for showing a variegated yarn like this. And you should see what the spun color one looks like that she did. It's like she did one in like something garden. And it's these like all different colors of um, like flat would be like flowers and leaves in it. And it turned out really, really pretty and shiny. Mine's not shiny, but I love these neutrals on it. And it's y'all see the greens yeah so started that last night and showed you the cards 
working on that baby blanket. I should be able to knock that baby blanket out and get it done this week. Because my daughter things are happening pretty quick right now. She is due the 26th of January. That's only 22 days away. I could be going to New Orleans very soon. So she has a, an appointment Monday for checking again, and they'll check her every time now. She's thinking she may have lost part of her plug. Who knows? She's had Braxton Hicks contractions. She felt like the baby had dropped last week, and then the other day she felt like he dropped again. But he had not engaged when she went the last appointment. So now she feels like things have changed. She's not sure if that has happened, but she does feel things have changed somehow. So she'll find out Monday. And I have a chiropractor appointment Monday. So I probably am going to have to make my chiropractor appointments farther apart for a little while. Mm -hmm. And I may be going to New Orleans. So we don't know yet. We'll wait and see. Babies do their own thing. <laughs> I got some magazines. I got these two in the mail. I got Crochet Whirl. And I got Crochet. And I got the new Hirschners, which is good. This is their Spring 2020. Looking for where it says where the prices are good up oh, and until 615 of 2020 and then I got the Mary Maxim sent me a catalog and this one is their doesn't say that it's spring but it does look like a spring catalog and it said somewhere this one I don't think it is though because it says prices expire February 10th 2020 so I don't really think that it's a spring catalog but there's a lot of springy looking stuff in here and I'm really liking this Mary Maxim catalog y'all if you didn't see Ross's video about his Mary Maxim uh, stuff that he likes and um, the willows, the willow yarns, he talked about the willow yarns. That that was a great video. I love that, Ross. I hope you feel better too. So you get a free tote bag if you spend forty-five or more. There's some good stuff in here too. And then I got one from Annie's. Crochet and knitting. And this is the January 2020 version. Um That one's pretty. Crystal just did a uh, scarf with a hood and pockets. Y'all would go check that one out. It's very similar to this, except Crystal at Bag Day, except she did it where you, you do it on the side. And it's real pretty. She picked a really neat yarn for that, too. So the Annie's thing, what was interesting to me is that these are mostly
it says stay warm and stylish with quick to stitch projects so it's the patterns and I love this because I've been wanting to do some color work with crochet look at that and that one is seven dollars or you can do a download for five so I'll show you that a little closer you can look at the number but look how cute that is shoe fly that one's called the snow heart cap And then there's a cardi and a necklace. And I have some nice cotton yarns. I could do that one. And that one looks very flattering. It goes all the way to a 3XL. And I, you know how I am about the dusters, but I don't really care for that one. And I don't know why. I think there's too much going on. But it almost looks like a jacket to me. It says it's a Gansey cardigan, so that's why, because it has a lot of texture on it. But I don't know. Something I don't look I like that one. Anyway, this is this is mostly all um, patterns. Which is cool. Let me see. I'm liking some of these hats and messy buns hats. They've got some quilting stuff in it. Again, these are patterns and books. You could order some books. And then DVDs, which have a bunch of stuff on them, and then there's some tools in the back, like, you know, this kind of stuff. So that was interesting, because it's the first time I've ever gotten an Andy's catalog. So yeah, I'm not going to go through all these magazines right now. I'll probably do that in a different different video. This was probably long enough. I've got to show you my Duke. Hold on, y'all. That's Duke. And that's where the bonfire, I was showing you last time where the bonfire was. Uh, and I was sitting on that little bench. That's where I had did this, the last video. And this is the little deck. It's in right here next to the well house. <laughs> I thought he had gone back to the house, but I guess not. And I don't know where Aridan went. Okay, hold on. There she is. What you doing, girl? I thought you guys might want to see me pan around a little bit. This is where I took the pictures from my website. If y'all saw, there's the tractor. We've got a couple of little benches. You can see the trails where the animals have been. That's the little trail coming down here. So yeah, such a peaceful area. And see, I can see right over the top of the well house. Right. Okay, so oh, this has been so relaxing. I hope y'all have enjoyed this. 
I may, I'm going to have to piece it all together, do some editing, and uh, get this up for you guys. And then look for my video on the magazines. I'll go over those with you, and I'll go over a few more things that I have going on in my craft room and some more thoughts coming up, and I'm just going to go as it flows. <laughs> Happy New Year, guys. Let's uh let's have a great 2020 and yeah, have fun today. <laughs> See y'all.